welcome to Keto Beyond the Couch, episode 194. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, say hi down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday... We go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is 2crazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time. It's Monday you'll be alerted to this it. This is episode 194. Should we just stop at 200? Right. right. Well, I don't think so. What do you guys think? Should we just end this at 200 or should we keep going? Well, you, you decide. Uh, I saw this comment. I, I, I think I offended somebody uh, in our vlog that went up yesterday. Amber said, my sister-in-law wants a towel warmer offended. I got her. <laughs> and Joe and I uh, got, and Joe, I got my brother one of those barbecue cutting board silicone resting tubs for Christmas. I wasn't trying. No, somebody did put a thing. I don't that, like, think you offended I, Amber. No, but somebody did say in the comments of that video, like, oh, I really liked how I wasn't trying to offend anybody. I'm just, it's cool in theory. Right. But for me, like, I'm, it's just going to cause a fight in our marriage because I'm going to be like unplugged. He's going to unplug it on me. <laughs> and then when it's time for a warm towel, there won't be no warm towels. So she's like, why do we have air conditioning if I can't ever run it? <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to Keto Beyond the Couch. This is all about our subscribers. We like to celebrate wins and ask, answer questions and things like that. Uh, we do it live because editing, it takes it way too long. And so the way we're going to do this, we're going to get into, if you're new here, just go through our normal Keto Beyond the Couch. And then after that, we'll jump into the chat. So if you have a question for us, hold off to like the last 10 minutes or so. If you want to ask us something right now based on what we're talking about, you can always use the super chat function. That is the little dollar sign thing that is down below. Do want to mention we have a sponsor for today. It is Perfect Keto, which I forgot to bring something over here. Here, oh, I do have something. <laughs> Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto's Black Friday sale ended. There's a box. Yep, their, their Black Friday sale gone. 50% 50 off. It's gone. <laughs> we'll see you next but year. But they do have the next best thing for today only. If you missed the sale, maybe you were waiting for something. Um, this I have it listed down below. There's a special link down below. And I believe it's buy to get one free. Yeah. You also get uh, a free box of NOLA bars when you spend $125 and That free makes shipping. you happy. And then also wanted to mention... Oh, so thank you very much, Perfect Keto, for sponsoring today. Again, thank you. we appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support Two Crazy Ketos. Wanted to mention today, Carnivore Crisps. Oh. Um, they, I have a, a link down below. They are having 20% off. Okay, good. Today's it. So 20% off on Cyber something Monday. at that cost. That's a significant amount of money. And I know, you know, we've talked about shopping for the last couple of days. And I know that that's not talk that's for everybody. Some people get really but frustrated. But we're about saving money. But we do like to save money, especially on the product products that, like, we rely on all year long. And sometimes it's not until this time of year, you know, that you can get these deep discounts. And for us, that, like, really, really matters. I know that a lot of people wouldn't um, touch Black Friday shopping. They wouldn't go anywhere. Right. With like a 10 foot pole, we went Black Friday it. shopping. I only and bought stuff for me, we, but <laughs> right. So we understand it's it's not for everybody, just like every video that we make. But our prayer is that it is for somebody, and that um, even if you know it's not something that you enjoy doing, that that you enjoy coming along with us. Yeah, and so some of the things that uh, we have in the Black Friday video, they're still on sale today. Keto Chow still having their sale, although you get the 10% discount using our link. Please always use our link. We greatly appreciate that. Primal Kitchen sale is still going on. Um, so just check out all the links. Oh, um, the one I know is going on is the um, Equip Protein Powder. Oh, is it still going on? Yes, Equip. Oh. And so we have our link down below for that. It was interesting. We were watching some YouTube videos of our own regarding like cruising this past weekend because 
we we're preparing for the low carb we're cruise. We're preparing for the low carb cruise and we don't know what is authentically like a good excursion, a good deal. Like, is this internet package good? You know, like we, we missed the scuba and because it got filled up. So now I we think got in. We're gonna do a private excursion. And so it was interesting. Which Rachel is freaking out about I'm a private excursion. I'm very much freaking out. But but I was it was interesting. So one of the videos said if you are looking for like deals, go ahead and book them on Black Friday or or Cyber Monday. Some people think to themselves like, "Oh, I bet they're just faking, and there'll be a better deal and later on." And go up. sometimes the prices not only don't go further down, sometimes they go up. Yeah, they say if you see a sale, book it, and then you can always cancel. We like we so canceled like, and rebooked stuff several yes. times. Yes. So yeah, we. We were all we were going through all that, and now we're we're even looking for like another cruise to do with yeah, our children. Right. So yeah, we we were binging like cruise tips because Rachel has never been on a cruise and is just a little freaking out. About and it. I will say that Debbie, who who is in charge of like the low carb cruise, if you're like this time of year will not work for me, but I'm looking for like a discounted cruise. That woman is amazing. Mm. Like we know people have gotten crazy good deals on cruises from her. So, yeah. I mean, she happens to be like in the two crazy ketos fam. Yep. So I like to shout her out because she really is amazing. Oh, I also wanted to mention link down below. We make no money off of this, but uh, the discount for KetoCon goes away. This yes, week. yes, right? December so 1st. It's still gonna be cheaper than waiting until April. But the price is going up. Yes. At the end of this week. Right. So if you want to get tickets, now's the time. A hundred bucks for three days because the price is going up. Also, we got a couple messages about Keto Palooza. Yes, I hounded, hounded, hounded uh, uh, Autumn, and so she is bringing back Keto Palooza. She announced it last week. The tickets it's are be not awesome. on sale yet. She told me they're coming on sale next week so keep an eye out this week and in the meantime go check out the video from keto palooza 2022 i was like crying when we were watching it i've watched it like five times now because it's just so beautiful and just kind of remembering like all of the good and beautiful memories made this year it's just it's worth a look Let's jump right into Keto Beyond the Couch. We're going to start off with our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. And this is a post from Julie. Hey, Julie. Said the best project you will ever work on is you. Amen to that. I mean, here we are going into, you know, the, the last month of this year. And I think about, you know, we've made a lot of investments in ourselves this year. Even just, you know, like time and energy, like... It's worth it though. There is no better investment. I mean, here we are trying to make sure we get a good deal on things, on gifts that we give to other people. There is no better deal than working on yourself mm -hmm. because you're with you for forever, for as long as you are you. Very important investment. Uh, next one is from Laura. Hey, Laura. Laura said 2020, now celebrating 19 years oh. married to my best friend. It's crazy how I look forward to doing things now that I feel better about myself. 75 pounds lost, and I'm no longer a diabetic. Wow. Oh, Laura. Look at you two cute kids. You're adorbs together. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The best is yet to come. And I am telling you that that, that is the truth. I mean, we. I feel like we are getting better every year. We're able to do more things as a couple, mm -hmm. which is really, really nice. And as long as we don't say like, hey, there's supposed to be an age limit on this, you know, whether it's like the age limit on the outfit or the age limit on the activity, and we do not care if they right. think, people think it's appropriate for us to be acting like children, um, then you're really gonna have fun. Yeah. Why not enjoy? So happy anniversary to you guys. Yeah, it was funny because when we were shopping the other day, I was um, in Express and I was like trying on some jeans and, and stuff like that because I can't afford Express unless it's on sale. And we're at right. the Express outlet store. Yeah, we can't afford Express, I can't express outlet unless, I can, it's yeah, on, unless it's on sale. On Black Friday so sale. So <laughs> one of the last trips we took, we had a layover in Atlanta and there was this fashion designer. I do not know what his name was, but you knew immediately yeah. that he was a fashion designer. He had designer. a stride And he confidence. was like my age. Yes. But he was wearing the coolest 
suit. It yeah. was like white with black stripes and it was like capri pants. It, I mean, it, it was, was like an in style, like, you know, uh, loafers with no socks. Like you can cool. just look at this guy and go, yep, he's a fashion designer. Yeah. And, Evidently, the, he was sitting like three tables over and somebody else walked up to him and said like, Who are you? Who are you? You're someone and, and special. And he said, yeah. Anyway, so I've been looking for clothes and I put something like that on and in, in, in Express and Rachel looked at me and I'm like, it just screams like act your age. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I I'm think. like, but at least I can fit in it. Yeah. Like, I didn't get it, but at least I can fit in it. And that's why people say, why do you wear, like, skinny jeans? Because I can. Right. Express, somebody's asking Express. Express is just a store, a mall store, like yeah. Dillard's, you yeah. know, Macy's. And I, I really like their clothes. They fit me really well. And also, it's clothes that I always wanted to wear before keto. Yeah. Um, But the largest size they sell is 36. Right, and you so you couldn't even shop so there. So you couldn't shop there. So we high fived. We took the win. We took a moment to celebrate the win, and but I we, could fit in it. And, and then, then we put like, the yeah, pants back. That that's like for a twenty year old. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a quick fade to black and come back with comments. Good morning, and welcome back. Uh, we're gonna start off with YouTube comments. First one is from Kate in Salt Lake. Hey. Kate. She said, yes, Joe, I am flummoxened by the mysterious weight gain after using the throne. Yes. When I asked about it, I was told the scale is a devil. Still, Still looking, looking for, for an, an answer. Actual... I, I honestly, like, don't have an answer for you. I, I mean, do you have an answer? It I'm just, not the only one. It's one of those things that it's like, don't take it personal. You know, maybe we were sitting weird or standing on it weird the, when we weighed before we use yeah. the restroom. It, the bigger question probably to answer, ask ourselves is, why are we doing that? Why are, <laughs> That's the why question. Why am I getting on this scale? The actual question the is like, why are, you ri why are you trying to compete with yourself using a toilet, right? It's, I mean, and I've done it too. So it's kind of like, why are we doing that? Yeah. Uh, oh, Mary Jane was saying on cruising, definitely read the fine print before paying unless the captain is on a private excursion with you. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, the other thing that really has me like fearful about booking any type of excursion outside of something that is sanctioned by the, the place is um it, by the actual cruise line is the fact that it's like they don't have to get you back to the cruise on time. Right. I'm a huge but warrior. There, but there are there are good. You have to just do your research. Yeah. You have to do your research. Teresa says you're so funny. Too crazy keto. Say so you can't afford clothes, but you like gadgets. It all depends on what you want. True. It's well, absolutely. It's we can afford anything that we're willing to spend money on That's and where right. we want to take money from. And you will from. move money around. When, for me, I just don't see a reason to spend $100 on a pair of jeans. That's me. Yeah. Other people think that $100, that's cheap. For me, 30 bucks is my limit. <laughs> um, but I, But my feeling is, is like, yes, I have to have clothes. I mean, I think most people want me to wear clothes when I leave the house. I don't. Okay. <laughs> so I save money there so that I can buy kitchen right. gadgets. But for me, the kitchen gadgets, and this is what I try to explain to people when they ask me about it, we, we really don't go out to eat. Unless we have a gift card, a deal, or it's some special occasion, we don't go out to eat. We don't go to the movies. We take our money there because, like, I, for example, I recently bought on OfferUp a food slicer. It was a $300 food slicer. I paid 80 bucks for it. I bought it basically to make my own carnivore crisps. Yeah. And someone would go, well, you bought an $80 food slicer to make carnivore crisps. Yeah, but a bag of carnivore crisps is $40. So two bags pays for itself. And I just caught the cost of, of making them from... $40 for five ounces to after I pay off the food slicer with two bags, now it costs me $5 for you know, five ounces. You know what? I probably don't do either because I, I, like, I do like clothes too. I think that that's where, you know, most, like I, I put money. I don't decorate. Right. The the curtains you see this in our family room. This is the most decoration This is the most, house. and it's because of sound, but like. In our, it, like, sometimes you probably see, like, curtains in my family room. Those came with the house when we bought it, like, 10 years ago. <laughs> that was right. the curtains that, like. You shop at a thrift store so you I, can do your nails. It, yeah. And it's, so it's. It's weird. And that's why, money. well, people will ask, well, how can you afford this? Well, 
I used to afford a Starbucks. I yeah. stopped paying for Starbucks. So that money went into buying better food. Right. You know, so it's just, it's, it's, where do you want to, we can all afford what, what we, we want. want to yeah. afford. Right. You know, so some of us say, well, I can't afford better butter. Okay. You can might want to end up having to go to the doctor more, you know, depending on what you're eating, you know, it was, those it's, different things. It's even been funny to watch Caleb. I remember, like, Caleb has become a fashion plate, right? So anybody... He's got a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> she completely changed everything. He wants to look really nice. Before it was like, I've got two pairs. He literally had, like, last Thanksgiving, to show you the difference, last Thanksgiving, we went to Michelle and John Paul's house for Thanksgiving, and he had taken off his shoes before he went into the house and then forgot when he left. I don't know why he just like walked out barefoot. That was it. He had no, he had no second shoes. pair of shoes. He only had one pair of shoes. And so we had, had to wear my shoes. He had to wear Joe's shoes until we could get his shoes back because that's how much he did not care about clothes. And then like this year, like he's all about clothes. So it's just kind of funny yeah. about like your shift in mindset. Okay, next one we have is from Mary Mary, Mary V. Okay. Joe's comment that their diet changed over time is so true. Make a start and be consistent and don't wait to be perfect. That is great advice. Mm -hmm. Fantastic advice. Yeah, it's super important that, you know, people are like, when should I start keto? Now. 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 Yeah. Not in a week. Not when um, I empty out my pantry. Not when everybody's on board with not, it. Not when somebody else is going to help do it with me. The best time to start is now. You know why? There's never a perfect time. No. And it's not, the the moon and the sky and the stars are not going to line up and cooperate with you. I'm going right. to tell you right now, the moment you decide to make a plan to do something better for yourself, I'm going to tell you right, I'm, spoiler alert, there's going to be an obstacle. Mm -hmm. It's always the case. Right. Always the case. Like 100% right. of the time, you're going to be like, I am going to go work out. You're going to go out to your car and there's like a flat tire weirdly, right? You're going to go out and you're going to be like, oh, it's raining. Should I still go? Like there's always something you just have to decide. I am pushing past the discomfort and I'm making this change because again, going back to like the first comment, I'm worth the investment. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie had a good, uh, at, had a thing. I asked a question last night. I thought I'd ask again in hopes to get more answers. Can you put Joe's yogurt in a Ninja Creamy to make ice cream? Maybe tutorial. Yes, you can. Uh, especially the fattier one. The way the Ninja Creamy works, the fattier, the better. Yeah. That's just how it works. That's why personally, I don't think any of the ice creams come out well unless you have at least three tablespoons of butter or three ounces of heavy whipping cream. Can you do it with less? Yes but it gets too icy. Like I think three to four tablespoons of butter or three to four ounces of heavy whipping cream is like the magic with it. And so, yeah, if you, especially if you do like a full fat or even the extra fat the yogurt, the extra fat yogurt, you'll just would have to add in awesome. some sweetener or something like that. Yeah, and uh, then all you do, as far as tutorial goes, is you just pour it into that container, mm -hmm. let it freeze like you would, and then yep. just use the the creamy like yep. you would. You can also add some cream cheese to even make it better. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Scattered Thoughts. Hey, Scattered Thoughts. Paper plates for holidays, so no one is stuck doing mounds of dishes. Regular dishes for all other meals. We even go so far as regular bakeware for normal days, but throwaway bakeware for holidays. That's good. Not as healthy, but we don't host that many holidays anymore. When I was younger, I had more energy, and I didn't mind regular dishes and bakeware when doing dishes. Now I want to spend all of my energy with the loved ones that are present. Majority of loved ones have passed on, and they are all missed. That is so precious. I love that strategy. And again... What you know? What your strategy is for the holidays? If you're like, hey, on Thanksgiving we like to use the fancy stuff, and I'm not concerned about the dishes because maybe like I am honoring somebody who's passed on by utilizing like dishes, you know, from from a loved one. That is completely fine. There's right. no wrong answers. It's just interesting to have a dialogue and see like what do people do. I was. Tickled to see, you know, my mom, you know, she put on a beautiful spread at her home. She hosted Thanksgiving this year. We're so thankful for that. It was a, just a lovely time. We did use, uh, you know, disposable plates. And mm. I was really happy that, like, I called her, 
like later the next day, uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't on Friday, but on Saturday, on Saturday morning, I called her and I was like, hey, how, you know, how goes the fight? That's a, that's a common thing that I will say to my mom. And she says to me, if we're working on some sort of a project, I'll say, how goes the fight? And she'll say the same thing. Um, and she's like, done. I actually like got all my dishes done and I'm like back to normal. And, and I thought that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. And she was saying that cause she was uh, volunteering on Saturday night to, to watch kids and kids ministry. And so she was just like, I wanted to just like off of my chest and like be able to move on to the next thing. And I thought, Ooh, I was so proud of her. <laughs> uh, okay. Next one we have is from Gloria. Hey Gloria. I began um, Lego mid July, or, I mean, I think probably keto mm -hmm. mid July of 2022. And after a month, I found it more affordable to eat ketovore because veg not eaten fast enough spoiled. Yep. I also decided, um, that I would avoid dogma people. Boy, that was a good strategy that I would eat. Um, Keto, it, if uh, that worked for me and my lifestyle, I eat a variety of meat, fish, seafood, a small amount of non-starchy vegetables, butter, animal fats, and a very small amount of quality cheese and whole fat plain yogurt with a few berries. Decaf coffee with heavy whipping cream. My why is RA and hormone balance and weight loss. In four months, I'm med free and have steadily lost weight, 35 and a half pounds. I started walking 15 minutes and now I am up to an hour. That's awesome. I live in a rural town in Montana and I don't know anyone who eats uh, keto, but I will say Montana's love to hunt and eat meat. So no one thinks my meat-based diet is nuts. Anyway, your video with Dr. Berry gave me the community I didn't have in Mighty uh, in in Montana. Thank you. That Aww. is awesome. Thanks so much. We're so glad that you're here. We appreciate the opportunity to just speak into your life, and I think what you're doing is fantastic. Yeah, and that's the thing is, you know, what kind of keto should you do? The kind that's sustainable. For yeah, you. absolutely. You, know, you figure out what works for you. You know, we try not to be super dogmatic. We're, we're dogmatic about a couple of things um, just because in our own life, we know what it's done for us. And one of them is like avoiding as much seed oil as possible. Do we avoid seed oil completely? No. If we go to Buffalo Wild Wings, we have sauce. It's got seed oil in it. Yeah. But we don't do it on a regular basis. Again, 90% is good enough. Um, and the only thing I think that we're really fanatical about is the store-bought keto breads that are lying to you. Yeah. And it's more because they're lying to you. It's more because... Um, it's frustrating. Well, and I it, this year was the year of pivot for our channel, and it, and it has cost us. It has absolutely cost our channel to come out as strongly as we have about you know, the tortillas and the keto breads that you purchase in the store. I mean, it, you we would absolutely do much better if we didn't say anything about that. But now, after this f conference year, the dozens of people that I have sat down with, that I've actually seen them face to face, and we have sat down, and I have had my arm around them at, while they cried about how they do not understand what is going on in their body, that they feel like they're making so many hard choices. They've got family members that are making hard choices. They were doing really well, and somehow they lost momentum, they lost traction, and now things are going in the absolute reverse direction. 100% of the frustration has been these keto breads and these tortillas. And we're so, not against no, keto bread. No, we're against obviously you see us eat it. Most of the ones that are sold in the stores where it's got like 10, 15, 20, 25 total carbs and they're like, it's zero net carbs. Yeah. If it's made with wheat, it's garbage for you. It, yeah. And it, it, even if it doesn't kick you out of ketosis according to a meter or spike your glucose. The wheat's just not good for you. If it's you, an anti-nutrient. If you are looking and at somebody, lying to you. if you're looking at somebody and they're like, my parents was doing great and now things are going bad. I just came here to talk to you. Like, what do you think about this? And they're just sobbing. You'd be like, let's get to the bottom of this too. Like to the degree that you 
love a person, you hate the disease, right? right? To the degree that you love people, you will hate something that is undermining their personal success when you know they're working so hard. Yeah, and I think that there's better alternatives out there. You may have to work yeah. a little bit harder. You may have to make them, but at least you know what's in there. I mean, we're making our own hot dogs and sausage now because I I want to know what's in there, and we eat it a lot. And we the do. problem with a lot of the keto breads and tortillas is most of us aren't stopping at one. If you're having a sandwich, you're having two slices, not one. And sometimes you're multiple having, a day. If you're having a tortillas, you're generally not only eating one, and that's where my my issue is. And enough of that. Okay, Rant next over. one, Kathy. Uh, Kathy. I've been watching various carnivore videos for about six months now. My problem is I love to cook, and carnivore is quite boring. Triple B and E would even be more so. I understand the benefits health-wise that these this way of eating are supposed to give you, but I easily get bored. Is there anyone else on your blog that doesn't eat to just live, but actually enjoys cooking? And when and what you fix can be heavenly. The pleasure you get from a well-cooked dish and the variety, savory or baked goods. I try to get motivated to at least start the carnivore, but not the triple B and E. But then a cooking video will pop up and that thought goes right out the window. We'd love to hear from those that actually love cooking and how they got this to work for them. Okay, there's a couple things to dive into here. First I of all- I say you don't love cooking. I think you I, love I cooking. think it's us. People ask, why aren't you? Uh, there was recently a comment on one of the Triple B&E videos. If Triple B&E is so good, why are you not doing it for the rest of your life? Because for me, <laughs> I'm Kathy. Right. <laughs> okay. It's not sustainable for me because I occasionally want an ice cream. I occasionally want jalapeno poppers. Right. I occasionally just want something that is not beef, butter, bacon, and egg. It's the same thing for carnivore. Is carnivore really good? Yes. Is it sustainable for Joe? No. It's just not. It's for me, I need variety. 90%, 95% of our diet is meat, but we do a lot of, I'm working on a cookie video right now. Like, that's what I've been up since 7.30 this morning. I've working been really on a cookie recipe. enjoying this process of so, making the cookies. <laughs> um, we, we like a lot of different things, and that is why we even, like, continue to talk about products, because I think there's a yeah. need for them. Um, we don't focus a lot on recipe videos, because I think you need to focus, on, on, rather, on dessert videos. Right. Because I think you need to focus on what you need to feel better and what's going to give you the most nutrient density. Yeah. And you're like, listen, we could have a million subscribers if all of our videos were how to make keto bread and how to make yes. uh, keto desserts. That's right. Because that's what people want. Nobody wants a video on how to make your own carnivore crisps. <laughs> Nobody wants a video on how to make keto chicken marsala. They want a video on how do I make... A perfect look-alike Oreo cookie. Right. That's what people want. But that's not going to help you in your long-term health goals, which is why we only do a few of those. Yeah. But I do think that you need a variety if that's what you like. And that's why we try to do that. I will say you could make mostly meat-based diet fun and enjoyable and taste great by changing up cooking styles, using different spices, Again, that's why we do a lot of, we have a lot of different appliances because my feeling is that's where the money goes. I want to enjoy my food. I want to try different techniques. I want to try different things. And so rather than going out to eat or buying fancy paintings for the house, I want a $300 gadget that's going to make right. my food taste better because <laughs> I'm going to get more out of it. Now, as far as should you eat to live, I'm going to let you handle that. Nope. Well, I mean, you all, you, no, yes, you should eat to live, not live to eat. There's the difference. If all of the joy is in the food, and there was decades of my life where I was either thinking, I mean, I would spend, I would say it, it's not an exaggeration to say I spent about 12 hours a day thinking about food. I was either at the grocery store planning my list for the grocery store um, putting away the food, planning the recipe, you know, and, you know, cooking the food and eating the food. It was, it was like the lion's share of my day was around food. And I was just like working around my food talk and thoughts. 
And I, I just, now that that is not the case, I, I am much happier. I thought, man, if I let go of that, will there be joy in my life? If I take out food, what will there be left? And once I'm on the other side of that now, it's like, well, there's a lot. And, and and I'm learning things new every day. And I'm so thankful for the keto community. It was Kelly um, Hanlon who actually said, hey, I came across this great thing about being more intentional, you know, during the Christmas season. Let me share this with you. And I like shared it like all over of like, hey, these were like some ideas that you could do to like celebrate the season in a different way. Because yeah, I mean, in the past, even the holidays were all about the food yeah. and food preparation and planning. So it's nice to be you know, doing something different. And sometimes when you don't know what to do, you need help yeah. from your friends. Yep. And I'm thankful for the community that, that kind of shows like, hey, here's something fun to do that's not food yeah. related. Now, with that being said, is it okay to enjoy your food? Yes. Of course. Just don't live to enjoy your food. Yeah. Don't let your food be the thing that brings you joy. Like, enjoy the food when you're eating it. Yeah. But don't make that, like, your life of, like, I need food to bring joy to my life. That's yeah. just not a good thing. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Um, from, I'm not even going to Hello. Uh, can you explain to me how the Vitamix is safe? When you're using hot stuff with it, so, uh, some person said it's because it's commercial grade plastic. I'm thinking even if it's commercial grade plastic, it is still plastic. Yes, you are correct. It is still plastic. Uh, Vitamix does use BPA free and BPS free plastic. It's a it's a a higher grade plastic in their containers that is uh, that doesn't melt as easily. It's got a higher point for it, so you can put hot things in it. With that being said, is it optimal to use a plastic container for hot foods? No. Which is why we have the stainless steel container. Yeah. Do we put, do we make a soup in a hot container in Vitamix? Yes. Are you ever going to be able to avoid any of your food that is hot going into a plastic ever? container? No. No. Be unless you are never going out to eat. And you are literally just buying cold, uncooked meat and cooking everything yourself. Somewhere, even even when you buy meat, unless you're going and butchering it yourself and like killing the deer and butchering yourself, every piece of food you ever eat in your life is going to be in touch with plastic somewhere. Right. Do the best you can. We don't cook in plastic for the most part, but occasionally if we're trying to make up our soup or something like that, yes, I will put it in there. But that is 1% of my overall eating. Again, strive for perfection. No, you will never, ever, ever achieve perfection on your eating or anything else. Anybody who says they eat the perfect diet is either A, just not um, aware, right? Or B, they have some self righteousness, yes. Which is one of the reasons you can't do I nothing with Got out of all of the carnivore groups because yes. nobody can be better than the other person. Like I literally said, if you had coffee in the last five years, and you're not a real carnivore, right? Right. Uh, well, I never said I was a carnivore, but there are people who think that carnivore you can only have salt. I think there's a lot of people that just have their own rules. It's like Uno. There's, yeah. there's house rules yeah. that I cannot get ahead of. But pretty much every restaurant somewhere puts their food in plastic. Yeah. Hot food in plastic. So that's just something to be aware of. Let's take a quick commercial break and come back with the rest of the comments. Is your house decorated for the holidays yet? Mine is not. No. Needs Mine to come is out not. Of the shed. I told Anthony when he gets home... This afternoon, he's got to go get the Christmas tree out. Chris said, my favorite excursion on a cruise is to walk on a beach, rent a chair, and chill. Just chill, chill out. That's, That's for the nice. most part what our plan is. Yes. We, we're, we made, I booked one excursion in Cozumel um, because Rachel was like, I really would like to see some of the ruins. Oh, did you get it? I booked it knowing we can cancel it. Our thing is, it's like a 45-minute ferry ride and like an hour like van ride. So it's nine hours gone, you know, but it was on sale. But our, but our thing was, <laughs> was is so like, cheap. you know what? The cruise itself is a vacation. 
Like, yeah. I'm fine. Like, if hey, we, when everybody else goes on excursions, we excursions, just we'll just down. stay on the boat and enjoy where everybody else is gone. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, I'm fine to just give me. I, we Rachel's were, never been on a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. I'm looking forward to the things oh. on the actual ship, like the zip line. And you're, you've got some ping pong in your future, friends. Really? Ping pong. I have to, I have to spend. That's where it's at. $2,600 on a cruise plus $1,000 in flights to go play ping pong. Sometimes you do, don't okay. you? I mean, like, yes, you could do it at home, but do you do it at home? No. No. Okay. Sometimes you need vacation mode. First comments from Teresa. Hey, Teresa. So thankful for this family and community. Yesterday, I was able to do something I absolutely love to do, host a formal dinner for family and friends. I served a combination of keto and traditional foods that everyone would enjoy. Everyone also brought their favorites. Through my two and a half years of this way of eating, my close family has been very supportive. I'm single and love to cook, so I've shared a lot of different creations with them, both good and bad. They are also used to my wacky orders at the restaurant when we go out. Yesterday was the first time I've run into the food shamers and pressure pushers. Because of all of you sharing your experiences and techniques, I was able to successfully navigate those rocky waters with grace. That Teresa, is awesome. That makes my heart so sad, though, that, like, somebody was, was uh, like, frustrating It's funny. You read you. that and you get sad. I read that and I'm like, this is why we have a community. Yeah. This well, is I mean, why community is so important I'm so stinking thankful that, like, yes. I mean, and I feel the same way. There's a lot of times that I, like, you know, I'm going out the de- door knowing, like, I have strength. Like there, there are people who get me, even if I'm about to walk into a space with people who don't get me, right. don't get my way of eating. So yeah, I'm thankful too. But like, oh, I wish that like you didn't need that aspect of the community because I know that that's hard. You know, in the moment, it's still stressful. Next one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. I was catching up on videos while cooking today and just watched the Thanksgiving live stream and saw folks not liking the way Redmond's Relight doesn't dissolve. That used to frustrate me also. But if you mix in a small amount of hot water until Smart. dissolved, then pour it over ice and fill your water bottle the rest of the way with cold water, it works much better. So I thought I'd share. Thank you so Thank much you for sharing much. that. That is absolutely brilliant. Very, very smart. Next one's from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. I just finished an extended fast. I have low-carb treats in the house. They're for special occasions like holidays. I no longer reward accomplishments with food. So after looking at uh, them a moment, I moved on. Jennifer, that may be the best celebration of today's whole day because that is a major milestone because that's something that like I have struggled with over the years as well that like you did not console yourself with food or you don't reward yourself with food that is so stinking good way to go are you reading something um Peggy said that's not her post it's funny that's how it showed up in the name don't want to take oh okay best wishes all Thank right we'll we will we will try to figure out who that actually is sorry about yeah. that Peggy uh, next one is from Thriving with Jason, from Jason. Aw, today is my youngest grandson's first birthday. Find what drives you forward and focus. It will never let you down. That is awesome. Next one's from Beverly. Hey, Beverly. Where is the meetup January the 14th with the two crazy ketos? So, we are going to be, this is great. I'm so glad that, that we're talking about this. So, January the 13th and January the 14th, we will be meeting at Bodacious Barbecue in Orlando. We'll be talking about it more as we get closer to January, but the name of the restaurant is Bodacious Barbecue. And this is designed to be a true local meetup. This is not a conference. This is not something that like there's going to be any speakers at. It really is just an opportunity for people who live in the local area to meet up in Orlando and get to have dinner together. So we do have some people like us, like we live about three and a half, four hours away from Orlando. So we will be Who's driving at four hours. I, I, probably you. Let's be honest. Well, if it's me, it's two hours. Okay. Two All and right. Half. That's about three hours. So we are going to be like while we're there, we're good. We thought might as well make it a two day thing. Bodacious Barbecue is not like a huge. It's a small place. place. Huge place. It is a um, a really great 
um, I think reasonably priced barbecue joint where you can purchase meat by the pound, which we really like because no matter what, if people are on triple B and E or doing something different for, you know, January, they'd still be able to order something, if that makes sense. And so we decided, okay, we're going to meet there two nights. We're going to be there the 13th and we're going to be there the 14th both times having dinner. So you can decide, do I wanna be there on the 13th or does the 14th, you know, is that a better fit? Or do I wanna be there both days? So Chris Miller has so graciously um, a, a, like kind of organized this event. So you can reach out to her in the Mighty, Mighty Networks. Networks. And, um, and I think she's already making posts there where you can email and let um, her know which day are you deciding. Now, since we are staying overnight at, uh, you know, for this event, we are going to be going to Universal Studios and Universal Studios Islands of Adventure each day. So like we'll do take one park on the 13th and we're going to do another park on the 14th in case there's somebody who's like, "Hey, I want to do something during the day before we, you know, go to eat, you know, in the evening." But if you are out of the state of Florida and you're interested in coming for the meetup, I just want to make sure that you know this is not like a conference like Keto Palooza. This is not like there's going to be vendors and there's going to be speakers and stuff like that. So um, we may have some people like I know my good friend Sarah G is going to be coming, but she's like she's coming for like a vacation and it's like it's working out great that um, the event happens to be you know happening at the same time. Yeah. So again, if you want, if you're coming, if you want to come for another state or something like that, that's yes. fine. Just know this is just like a meetup. Hey, Super casual. Who wants to hang out? Um, there's no charge for it. You got to buy your own meat. You got to buy your own meat. Yeah. If you want to go to Universal Studios with you, that's all on you. We're not organizing anything. We don't have any kind of hotel deals. If you are even like us traveling from three hours away and don't want to have to drive up and back on the same yeah. day. There's thousands of hotels yeah. in Orlando, and you can stay them pretty cheaply. We usually stay somewhere around Universal Studios, for and and my thing is always it's less it's got to be less than a hundred dollars, and I can generally stay in almost every Marriott for less than a hundred dollars a night. And I see Stephanie asking a question that she's wanting to have a keto meetup where she is at, but not sure how to reach people. You are more than welcome to like organize that in our Mighty Networks. Yeah, make or a post. Facebook. The um, only th Jackie is doing that right now. Yeah. Matreya has done it. Make a post. Do us a favor, though. The only request that we have of people in, well, there's a couple, in, in any of our Facebook or Mighty Networks plas platforms is do not post a video. Yeah. Don't post a video, don't post a live stream, and don't post some sort of sales pitch, obviously. Like that's that the, those are the those are the things that we don't we're not okay with. I wanna address but, this. But post a you can post a like, hey guys, I'm interested in having a meetup. Who who would like to do that? Yeah. So I wanna address this since you brought it up. Okay. Why don't we allow videos in Mighty Network? Because we're mean. We're mean Somebody's gonna say that. Hateful people. It's because Okay, first of all, th we are all about promoting other channels. Yes. If anybody knows us, you know, like, we promote other Obviously. channels. Obviously. But we also promote channels where we know that their views line up with us. I'm not going to promote a channel from someone who says, you can only do keto if you use Prove It Ketones. Right. Obviously. Um, We're not going to do that. I'm not going to promote... A channel that says, hey, it's okay to have honey and eat lots of sugary fruit right. on keto. If, if you want to do paleo, be my guest. Yeah. But we're not paleo. We're keto. So we are very careful of who we promote to make sure that we line up with them or they line up with us. Give you an example. I own a landscaping business. I never, ever, 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 ever refer a tree guy. Why? Because I've never found a tree guy that does good work. And when I refer a tree guy and say I refer him to Rachel and Rachel hires that tree guy and they do crappy work, it's a reflection like, on me. Like, what did you me. do to me, Joe? Right? So it's the same thing. So that is number one. So we don't allow that because we want to pick and choose who we all, who gets promoted but then the problem is, is at also, 
we had it on our Facebook group and the next thing you know, we literally just had hundreds of people joining just to build their yes. channel. Yes. And that, that That's hurts. not what we're about. We're about yeah. community. Exactly. If you find a recipe that you really like, you can share the re written recipe, but don't share the video. Right. Or you could say like, hey, Steve from Serious Keto put out a great recipe about liver today. Right. <laughs> he didn't. No. <laughs> because he puts out really good recipes in liver. Mm. But um, but yeah. And and then people can find it on YouTube. They know that it's yeah. a channel and they know what but they're looking for. There's too many times where we found a video where somewhere embedded in the video was you need to go do this or, you know, somebody even put a video up basically putting stuff in and saying, and anybody who says this. Right. And it was like completely opposite of right. what we believe. So, so there you will why. see in face in the Facebook family group there are a few people that are completely just grandfathered in. It's mm. Hungry Heath, it's Radical Geek, Jason, Christopher Hittipole, and I think that's it. Yeah. Because but they've, they've been, been like with, with us since, since we had day like one. a thousand subscribers and before we knew better. Yeah. We are not the only group that doesn't allow this. Like Kim Howard and lots of people say, yeah. no, it's, it's just, just because you have to be able to I can't watch make every sure video. everything is going on. Right. And the more that we allow in there, the more you have to have, like we have moderators and they have the messages. Well, is this one allowed? So it's just easier to say none. Yeah. None. And I love Dr. Barry. Don't even repost Dr. Barry's videos. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's true. Monica says, and with, um, I, I guess you can't pick that, but she was just saying like, um, it would be right there. That one. Boop. And with things changing so rapidly, we can recommend <coughs> anyone, a company or a person, and they may not still be in business. You're okay. right. Like things change. So You went through, yeah. we found out that a lot of our affiliate links or yeah. even things that like not they weren't even affiliates didn't work anymore. Like yes. I didn't know Alterna Sweets went out of business. We used to love Alterna Sweets. We didn't make any money from them. We thought they were great. I just used them. I used it in my burnt ends the other day. Yes. Rachel's was like, did you know they went you, out of business? And then Joe was like, oh my crap. Like <laughs> now I want to like lick it all off because that now we won't be able to get it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on. And no, yes, no links to videos. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you put a link, it's automatically going to show up as a video. It's good. Yes, it will. So, so no, no links to videos. Yeah. Uh, next one's from Susie. Hey, Susie. I read somewhere that Heinz bought Primal Kitchen. Does anybody know if this is in fact true? Yes, it is. Uh, they bought, Heinz bought Primal Kitchen in 2018. I was originally upset about it. However, <laughs> I did some investigation and uh, I will actually say I have gone through the Primal Health Coaching Courses, which is very good, which is actually run and owned by Mark Sasson. Um, one of the things about Primal that I found out in this deal was the re one of the reasons he sold is because he knew it would get these types of products into more hands because the bottom line is Heinz has more money to market. Because Heinz bought them out, that's why you can get Primal Kitchen in almost every store now, and you can get it in Costco and all of that. But the deal was, it is an autonomous company. Mm -hmm. Like, they're run separately from Heinz. They can't change all the ingredients and stuff. It, it, and why would they? Why Why would they? they this already, is really good. They Let's already have out. crappy ingredient right. products. Why would they take this and then, like, make it a crappy ingredient? So they can't change that. And also, they kept all of the people who were running the company. Wow. So that is why we use and promote Primal Kitchen. It was it And if if that wasn't the case, I wouldn't. We we there were other ones that we really liked that we found out not so much. They started changing their ingredients. It was funny. Like you should have seen Joe like when we when he started like the coaching program. That was the first thing he did was like tie, you know, tie up his sneakers and be like, "Let's talk about the product line." Yeah. Like that, you know, that's so funny. Yeah, but and Believe me, we paid for that course. <laughs> uh, links to articles are completely fine. Yes, As we've talked articles, about before, that yeah, is just like, videos. Yeah, it's just videos. Is my is my yeah. Thing. And just if I read video. through an article and be like, uh, no, then we'll, we'll delete just delete it. it. But it, There's video, no videos like too much self promotion, too much 
trying to scam people. I can't tell you if you one of it's one of the reasons we really like Facebook or I rather Mighty Networks over Facebook. Too many ad things show up in Facebook. Too many things where you start watching. Let me show you how to make these keto brownies, and then like. Five minutes in, and if you want to learn more about keto, press Call one me. in the comment section, and then they're trying to sell you an exogenous ketone. Right. And so that is why we just got rid of all of that. Uh, next one is from Deborah. Hey, Deborah, I'm thinking about the grit and determination of the pilgrims and how I can show a small bit of this in my own life. I can not I can remember that wholesome food is a blessing and fuel for my body. I'm thankful for this lifestyle and the safety net keto uh, that keto creates. I don't overthink my choices anymore. I'm also thankful for this community and the outpouring of non-judgmental support it provides. Gosh, that that's really nice. Like I, I like thinking, you know, that too, where it's like, you know, I need to find my strength to make good decisions, you know, for, mm -hmm. for myself. And I, I love the, the non-judgmental community too. Like, you know, if we go out and and have ever done like triple B and E, and then we you should see us eat a vegetable, like we can't go in that carnivore group either, right? right. Like, I mean, it's scary. So I I'm really thankful f the fact that we can share what we are eating and not get judgment either. Yeah, it's and it just don't overthink things. Just don't worry about it. We're actually interviewing Amy Berger tonight for so our podcast, exciting. and I'm super excited because that's that is her view of things. There's a couple things I disagree with her with. I'm not going to say I don't. But overall, she's like, just end the carb confusion. Like, that's her book, right? Keto without the crazy. Um, The thing is, is that you can just start somewhere and then tweak things as you're going along. Yeah. Uh, Shauna said, it makes me wonder if Primal Kitchen was going under. I don't think they were going under... The he got a butt ton of money. I think he just he was got like, a "This is the perfect time to ton sell." Of money. And listen, I mean, Mark's is on, and and the whole focus is helping people get healthy. Um, recently, we were talk. I was talking with someone who knows him very well you know, within the primal course, like some of the instructors, and they're like, "One thing," he, and he has talked about this in his books. Like, he doesn't know what it's like to have been fat and then gotten healthy, right? Yeah. He, he, he was, he was a an, marathon runner. He was I think like he a professional like, athlete. He plays like fifth in the U.S. marathon. Like, yeah. You know, so like, but he is all about health. I love his books. But when you're a small company, you know, I think about Keto Chow. When you're a small company with an amazing product, you can only reach so far. You right. Know? Same thing with Keto Brick. You can only reach so far. And so if you can find a way to keep your same exact product and get it out to a lot more people because you know that it's going to help people, it's something that you have to think about. So like, and that's something, you know, you know, you talk to Chris, he's like, the, you're, why do they do it the way they do it? Because that is the way to keep the money down. The more you go out, the more they'd have, if they were in stores, he said, we'd have to raise the money because right. now you've got more hands in the pocket. And no compromises. You know, you've got you same thing it. with Keto Brick, with Keto Savage. He, he does everything in house because Even he doesn't shirts. trust anybody. Right. Right. He's you know? making his own shirts. But if you could find a way to take that product and put it in a more hands with zero compromises, it's something that you would definitely worry about or, or, or consider it at least. Uh, look under Mark on YouTube, Air Fine and yeah, it's Mark Sasan. Uh, okay, one more from Robin. Robin, I watched Steve and Amy's talk at the uh, Salt Lake City meetup. Both resonated with me. The biggest takeaway for me was Amy's position on positive affirmations. Yes. Like her, I've tried them. They never work for me. They did frustrate the heck out of me, as did those who told me I was doing it wrong or was not sincere enough or not saying them enough. So it was refreshing to hear someone else say it didn't work for her. It made me feel less alone or odd. I like her approach of going from negative self-talk to neutral self-talk. That seems more doable and realistic. And sometimes we hear things right when we need to hear them. I I love that too. Yes, when she, and she talked about that when she was in Keto Palooza as well, where it was talking about like saying, you know, um, I love my thighs. 
it, it's like, okay, there's the positive affirmation that I need to be saying in order for me to like keep working on my thighs and like making good choices. Like I need to love them. That's the best way that I can be. It's like, I love me some thighs that I have. Um, but that may be too far of a step for me to take right now. If I have been hating my thighs for decades, the thought of being like, yeah, I just love them. Like all of that time below, like, be I mean, in the back where it was like, I was self-loathing for like decades, you know, that's just over and I love them now. And right. that's what I'm just gonna say. So f for her to say, you know, instead of saying like, I love my thighs to going to a neutral place and saying something that is just like, I have human thighs I use to, to walk with. Mm. And that is neutral. That is correct. That is not like an opinion. I don't have to like drum up some motivation, but it also like takes me away from the loathing of my thighs, right? I can just be like, they're thighs. I need them to walk and I use them to walk. Right. And that's it. You know, it's kind of like helping you to walk into a safer place. I love that too. Okay, let's get into some comments. Uh, oh, Chris said, we had so many good experiences with booking private companies for excursions. Also, just way, uh, walking up to just places. walking up to places and finding things to do right there. Never a problem. That's ever. good. It's more That's, of Rachel's anxiety. I know. I get a little, you know, I, I, I'm a planner, so I like to plan things, and then I get worried if I feel like I'm out of control. Joanna said, my top price is also $30 on jeans, and normally it's $15. I get mine on clearance at Kohl's. There's some, I mean, it's, it's Cyber Monday, so there's some good deals. But, like, Joe was telling me, because I was like, oh, I need to buy some, you know, there were some, like, $15 jeans, and he's like, you really need to go to the store and try them on. And, and he's right, because jeans are weird. I can get away with shirts. Now, I do have a skin situation in my arm that is like, it's it, my arm fits weird in shirts, but um, I but there's a lot more room for like, okay, this shirt will work versus these pants will work. Right. Pants are never the same. And even well, in- look at me the other day. Same exact, like store. hyper stretch. What is it? Uh, athletic slim pants. Yes. That's what I was buying. Four colors, four different sizes. Same exact line in Express. Tosh and I were talking about that yesterday because they had gone to Old Navy and had gotten some jeans and it was $15 that they were on clearance. They're, they were doing 50% off their clearance. So the jeans were marked down to $15 and then you get 50% off that. So $7.50 for the jeans were like a really good deal. And she's like, I would really like a pair of black colored jeans. But she's like, Black from the smallest. They, she's like, they. what is going on? The crotch is like this much off. And and I bought like sizes in a light blue and a dark blue, fit fine. Yeah. Then I go to the, the black color and it's like, it doesn't fit. It's like a totally different thing. So I'm like, yeah, I probably need to go in and try them on. Yeah. Uh... Adele, good morning, family. Good First morning. time in a long time, caught the live so non-scale good to see victory. You. I am 81 years old that I did a 5K on Thanksgiving what? morning and then hosted dinner for 14 later. I feel so blessed that I found you. Bam! Out. Adele, that is incredible. Wow. Chris said kitchen gadgets are medical devices. That Use is true. Properly, they can help prevent diabetes. That is very, very true. Astra said, so agree, extra money for jeans is a no. Ross store, I can find great jeans for $10, 10 to, to $20. 20. I have not looked. I want to know why men's underwear cost more than jeans. Men's underwear are very expensive. In fact, Caleb said, I used to complain when we would get underwear as kids, and now I find myself putting that on my list to Santa because I don't want to have to buy my own like underwears and he's like and it's cotton it's not like it's made out of like i don't know butterfly wings or something it's like why can i buy like a wash rag and it be like a dollar or two and then you have to buy underwear and it's like twenty dollars like that's just very weird and she said joe's still waiting on the video to make carnivore crisps sir <laughs> uh it is on the editing desk and will most likely be released to channel supporters later today what about hot dogs that is i'm trying to shorten it. Okay. That, that'll come out this week. Uh, Carnivore Chris will probably be released. We, we can't use that name. I don't want to get in trouble. Yes. Our meat snacks. Meat snack. 
or carnivore. It was stuff. like carnivore chips, I think is what you call it. Carnivore chips. Um, the stuff in that the That will be released to our channel supporters first, probably about a day or two days before everybody else. It's our way of saying thank you to people who um, are supporting us. Yeah. So you could support us through Mighty Networks. Mighty Networks is completely free, but you can choose to support us Lady there. says, will it be here uh, before I get my meat slicer? It's it t later today. Later today if Hopefully. you're a channel supporter. Otherwise, sometime this week. Uh, she also says that Meet Your Maker people have a $400 food slicer mark down to $300 for super industrial strength wow. 10 inch. Yeah, I saw that one. I And we actually talk about it in the video, but I purchased a best, best wood food slicer. It's a 250 watt food slicer. Sells on Amazon for about 350 bucks. I bought it on OfferUp for $80. So again, this is a time to check those like Facebook, like local selling groups. Facebook marketplace, offer Yard up. sales. If you're in Florida, I guarantee you're going to come across something because I've got like 40 things listed on offer up because that's how I buy new kitchen gadgets. Yeah. I sell stuff and then that's I go the, buy new stuff. That is our that. marital like, rule. Like right now, I'm, I got my old vacuum sealer on there. Like, so that's, that is some of the things that I like to do. But my feeling, even with that, was we were buying so many carnivore snacks and crisps, and we probably still will, especially if we're going on trips or something right. like that. But not nearly as much as we were. But I looked at, like, okay, I can buy two bags of carnivore crisps and spend $80. Or I can spend eighty dollars on a food slicer that will now allow me to make those carnivore crisps for like two dollars a bag. Right. Like so, for me, it was it was worth it. Yeah. And I just had to make an entire place in my garage to store everything because I can't leave it on my counter. Rick Wynn said, "I buy clothes by estimating how many times I'm going to wear." Oh, it. that's a good if idea. If I spend a hundred dollars for a dress, I will wear it a hundred times. It costs a dollar. If wow. I wear it once, then it costs me $100. Oh, that is a really good policy. And I look at the policy. same thing. I'm like, how much am I going to get out of this? If it's a one-time deal, like, it's, it's way lower. Yeah. You know, I, it's it's where do you get your value? For me, I look at how many times am I going to use something. Yeah. You know? It's one of the reasons we, we stopped going to movies and stuff. Because I was like, okay, go to the movies before keto. You by the time you were done buying popcorn and all that stuff, movies for two people was like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. For on average less than a two hours or just around two hours. And I'm like, for that same 50 bucks, we can get into a theme park for the day. I will never forget going to what is that? We went to that movie. It was like a it's a Broadway play that that you love. Oh. Les Miserables. Les Mis. It was hilarious. So Joe knows every single song in Les Mis. Like, he loves that. He loves the show. So when the movie came out, he was like, we got to go to that. But then when we're in there, he's like, oh my gosh. Like, he's waiting for just the right time to go to the bathroom. So that was another deciding factor for us to kind of like not go to a lot of movies because it was like, we can eat what we want during the movie and we don't have to like wait to go to the bathroom. Yeah, now, even now, like we we buy we buy any movie we ever want to see, we buy it on iTunes. Yeah. Most movies within a month of hitting the movie theaters are now available on iTunes. Yes. And I can buy it on iTunes for at most 20 bucks. Usually within two weeks of it coming out, it drops to 15. That's the price of a movie ticket, and now I own it forever. Now everybody else can watch it. I can pause it to go to the bathroom. I don't feel like that pressure to eat popcorn or something like that. And you know what? TVs now, they're they're good enough that I don't need that big screen right. type experience. But that, that's just me. Everybody is different. I'd rather take the money, the movie money and buy a really nice steak. Yeah. Um... Lady Fitzer said, I buy clothes by losing weight and then going up in my attic and looking wow, at the boxes. Wow. That, gosh, that has to feel so stinking good too, doesn't it? Like that, that is just like you're shopping in your own closet. Talk about saving money. And then the key is don't box up what you like are, have, you know, lost weight and don't need anymore. Don't put that in the attic. Right. Box it up and take it to the thrift store or, you know, give it to somebody because, uh, you know, you ain't going back in that size again. 
Joanna said, when I lost 65 pounds, I went through three sizes. I got all my clothes on clearance. I'm proud to say I filled my closet for less yes. than half the money. Yes, I love that. I will always suggest to people, if you're in the process thrift of stores. losing weight, thrift stores and ultra clearance. Don't wait until you get to your normal size of where you want to be at before you buy a whole bunch of clothes. Yeah. It just, it saves you money in the long run. Like, as we were going down, like, I was dropping sizes every three or four weeks. So there was no sense in buying a whole bunch of clothes. I needed, like, you know, I needed Unless a couple. Unless you're like me and you have nephews you can just hand it down to. Right. Like, I needed, like, a pair of pants. I needed a skirt. I needed a dress. And so, like, every week or so, I would just go into the thrift store and be like, okay, I just need my essentials as I was, like, going, you know, down. This brings up a good point. We were talking about this the other day. Synergy said, years ago, I bought my lunch out every day. I discovered I can afford an iPhone if I stopped eating out. Wow. So, and that's the thing. And we talk about money. That's really good. How many of us have a phone? Pretty much all of us have a phone. Did you ever think we would get to a point where we pay $1,200 for a phone? Right. That we replace on average. On average, people replace their phone every two years. Yeah. There was, like that's a lot of money. I there's a friend of mine. She's not she's not on keto, but she was utilizing um, a like to your door service that provides you like restaurant quality food that has very minimal preparation and it comes to her door every day. And I was like, are you like on some sort of like a weight loss plan? And she was like, no, I am on a money savings plan. And I was like, how are you saving money by like having three meals a day, like delivered to your house? And she was like, easy. You cannot imagine how much money I was spending at restaurants every day. And on top of going to restaurants for my three meals, you're also like, at the mercy of whatever cravings in the moment you want. So she's like, I found that I wasn't even just ordering like a meal, but I was ordering like an appetizer or dessert as well. And it was really adding up to the point where it is actually saving me money to have like bougie food like dropped on my doorstep. Right. Delivered every day for yeah. three meals a day. It's one of the reasons we don't go out to eat a lot. It's like for me, I'm like, I can make better food at home. Now, if we have a coupon, that's a different story. Like we no longer have coupons for Texas Day Brazil. So pretty much it's only going to be when we travel. <laughs> or if we just want to treat ourselves and, and it's only lunch. But like I'm not spending $60 a piece on dinner when... I have a barbecue. That was a good coupon. That was a great coupon. That, that was the fifty dollars for twelve meals at fifty percent off. With that was we went through two of them. Yeah, we, we did twenty four of that them. That was a good. That was a great deal. Good deal. Um, Becca said, "I get my jeans from LL Bean. Oh, nice. They're fairly expensive, but I know they'll fit me well and they'll last, and they'll last forever. forever. That is a great quality. Like company. I just bought a new backpack for for traveling, you know, because I'm carrying computer and cameras and and clothes. that bag was not working. It was like open and like I, and I had a nice bag. It, I, I'm not gonna lie, I had a coach bag, but it was like when you need to find a little tiny thing, like we needed like our microphones, and you're like in front of somebody that you want to interview at a." conference and you're like hold on just a minute let me like dig down in mary poppins bag and see if i can like find this when thing. i lost my hundred dollar hard drive that was on it. a plane because it just like everything flopped around what, yeah. what i was gonna say was so i bought a new bag and i really investigated i've i've had regular cheap backpacks but they were ripping after like four or five months so i finally decided you know heavy. what I'm going to spend a couple hundred dollars. I mean, it's like a $600 bag that I got for a couple hundred dollars that's got a lifetime warranty on it. Right. That is well made for travel, made for having my computer and my cameras Very in there. Very organized. It's not going to rip. And, you know, so, yeah, I can short term pay a little bit of money, but am I going to have to pay? What am I going to have to pay long term? Same thing with our, with our eating, right? I can choose to spend a little bit more money on the quality food I eat now, or I can pay my doctor later. I do have a question. But somewhere I'm spending the money. I Don't tell Michelle, but she's looking for some super comfy pajamas, like really soft. You know, like sometimes they have these pajamas and they're made out of like, I don't know, it's like an airline blanket. You know that material is just like, ugh. Like it may be pretty, but it feels terrible. I'm looking for super soft pajama set that is a button down. 
Not a pullover shirt like what I'm wearing, but like button down. Anybody have any recommendations for that? Cause like I was looking all over the place. I found super soft like at Hanes, at like the Hanes outlet, but it wasn't it wasn't a button down. It was like a pullover. Okay, a couple more before we get off. Uh, Angie said after the turkey video, I brined a whole chicken and we smoked it. No one wants a turkey. Oh, anymore. how nice! I'm I glad it worked the out. Weird one. I like turkey. You are the weird one, cause I I would prefer a chicken. I, I'm with Angie. Like we're let's go, let's go do a chicken. Yep. Uh, Cynthia said your yogurt and bacon video uh, jerky recipes have been uh, lifesavers. Thank you for recipes you create and thanks, pose. Cynthia. What a nice thing to say. Any more, real quick, before we get off. Don says I watch all the videos, even if they're cooking. thanks, Don. She's amazing. Uh, Astro said, I only do keto desserts when going to someone's house, and I never bring any Ooh, that, that is a good, like, plan to have. Yeah, it was funny. So my friend Beth, I, I visited her recently, and she made the most wonderful um, uh, keto dessert. And so I enjoyed it while I was there at her house. And then I and then she, like, printed out the recipe for me to take home and, like, make it home. And I was like, I'm going to not make that right now. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, that is so good that like at somebody else's house, I am going to eat one serving of this dessert. At my house, I may eat a tray of right. this dessert. So I have to like be smart about Juju it. Juju said, Vitamix says nothing boiling should ever go in it for explosive reasons. Yeah, and that's the case with all of those blenders. Yeah. But if you let it run for eight minutes, it will cook it to 140 degrees, I think, and it's still considered raw. And that's a good point. So yeah, I remember that's one of the selling points. If you ever see their demonstrations, they make soup. Like they yeah. cut cold and just and run Costco it, run Roadshow. It, run it, run it's it. fun to just watch but them. They're saying it doesn't get that hot. But again, it's do the best you can. And we're gonna end with this one from Becca because this is exactly what we're talking about. What is orthorexia? Yeah. Orthorexia is an unhealthy focus on eating in a healthy way. When that's we great. get so ingrained of it's got to be this and I've got to eat perfect and like oh my gosh I, I you're worrying that did plastic touch that I mean you were joking the other day in the vlog like don't let that touch my don't let that touch that my, my waffle right you know it so I knew somebody once that like if you put down his plate if the apple literally that was on his plate if it touched his potato everything had to get thrown out yeah because he didn't like potatoes and so it touched. So now everything on the plate has to go out. Like, if we get so ingrained that it's got to be perfect, that's orthorexia. Yeah. And that is just as dangerous. It can be You're very dangerous. You're never, ever, ever going to eat perfect. And it can Do be... Do the best you can. And it can be... Uh, oh! Okay, wait. It's Rachel's birthday is Wednesday. Wednesday. Let's say let's sing happy birthday because we may not get to see her. And I'm okay. so glad to see Rachel Bartley. Okay. Ready? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rachel. Happy birthday to you and many more. And we're going to get off with that. Have a good day, guys. Love you Bye. guys.